Hello, I'm the creator of Forever Pick. After watching this review, the one thing I'd like you to pay attention to as I picked up on is listening to the tone of the guitar picks as he throws them onto the workbench. Whether they're plastic or wood, listen to the tone. What this guy does is he, he actually makes picks that he claims will improve the tone, uh, not just you know not just the picking experience, but also the tone of your guitar. Uh, so he makes picks out of exotic materials like uh, ebony. Let's say test. Uh, okay, this one is ebony stiff, which which is which. I should know purple heart though. Yeah, it's got a purple tone tint to it. Um, okay, ebony. Hmm. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Let me get some of my normal picks out here. But what I'll do here, I'll just set aside a few, um, few different things, and we'll just kind of, we'll kind of test a few different things. From here. and he actually his his past uh, in his past he worked at Hamer. Uh, in the custom shop, the USA custom shop at Hamer, making uh, you know some of the Rick Nielsen guitars and stuff like that. But this is what he's doing now. These picks, Forever Pick, and I'm actually really surprised. You know, I mean, I go into things like this really skeptical. I'll be honest. Um, he said, he said, he said that's fine. Be as skeptical. And I told him, I was straight up with him. I was like, man, you know, I'm usually skeptical of this kind of stuff, like claims as far as tone. I said, I'll put it through its paces, though, if you want to send me something. I said, I'm going to be brutal, though. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not trying to deceive an audience for the for the price of, of three picks. You know, that's what I told him. Um, he was like, yeah, it's fine. He's like, that's, that's cool. You know, just put it through its paces. Test it with you, against your other picks and stuff. That's all I ask. And so that's what I'm doing. Let's go with, uh, let's go with one of the green ones. The green ones are usually thicker. Um... 0 0.033 inch on this D-Dario. I forget what they are in. They're like a 0.79 or 0.83, something like that. things I spoke to this gentleman about on the phone uh, whenever we were talking about his picks uh, I was just wondering whether uh, they would hold up because it seems to me like you know something like this wo that's wooden um, would be very you know brittle or be difficult to keep from breaking it that was uh, my main concern but it doesn't seem to me as if it's any it's not this is not a uh, a flimsy material. This isn't something that's going to be real easy to break. It's like I said, it's laminated. You can tell it's laminated because you have two different grain patterns from one side to the other. You, it's, you can't really see the edge of the lamination, but it is definitely laminated, which is good because you want that for strength. But um, so that will add to the to the longevity of the pick. That was one of my concerns whenever I was talking to him about it. Because he asked me my honest opinion, I said, well, honestly, I really don't ever use a pick, you know. I'm just not much of a pick guy. I use my fingers a lot, and um, I do use it some, you know, on bluegrassy kind of stuff. And... You know, stuff like that. And especially on, if you get into metal and stuff, you know, use a pick, but...
so there is the ebony one. And I definitely tell the difference between that, say that and this. Now again, this is a this is a thinner pick though. So I'm, I'm kind of surprised, I really am. I did not expect it to be a brighter tone. Just didn't expect that. All right. So let's check this out. Purple Heart Stiff. Let's do Purple Heart Stiff versus Plastic versus uh, Ebony. All right, so here's Purple Heart. Okay, that's definitely a different tone than the Ebony. Wow, that's that's kind of like um, that's interesting because I wouldn't have expected it to be that bright. I mean, listen to the brightness of it. That's surprising. Now let's go back to the. Actually, that might be a. Even though this says uh, Purple Heart Stiff, that might actually be a little bit of a thinner pick. It definitely is, I would say. Yeah, that's that's a thinner pick uh, than the Ebony. Let's see, this one is uh, Rock Maple Core. Interesting, okay. So we've got Rock maple core, uh, and it looks like this. It's not as pretty as the other ones. It just looks like um, it actually looks like the boxwood or something from your hobby shop. But um, I'll take his word for it that it's maple. So let's see what this sounds like. That might be a third sound altogether. Back to Rock Maple. surprising uh, results there I would have to say I that's not what I expected I expected this to be one of those situations where I got something and I was skeptical at the outset uh, admittedly and um, I was I was thinking well this isn't gonna make a hill of beans difference <laughs> you know it might make a slight difference but it's not gonna be anything I'll care about um, but this definitely did make a difference. I have to say, these these picks sound different than the plastic ones of this, of similar size for sure. Now, you know, whatever your preference is, that remains to be seen. Um, I don't know how much he's charging for these. You'll have to go to his website to see, I guess. But uh, yeah, Forever Pick. Go Google them and check them out. I'll put links down in the description and so forth. Um, definitely interesting. I did not expect. I did not expect that. Yeah, thanks, Rob. I appreciate you sending me those.